All right, hi everybody. Welcome to today's Somo at Home. Today we have Melody Prowitz with us and she's gonna do some crafts with us again today. But before I turn it over to Mel, I just wanna thank a couple of our sponsors, um, DeSoto High School, Hobson Lumber, and First State Bank of Farmington. So thank you to them for supporting our Somo at Home sessions. And with that, I will turn it over to you, Mel. Hello everyone. Today I thought we'd do something a little different and we are going to make a picture frame picture holder. You take an old picture frame that you have at home and you're gonna, we're gonna string strings through it and then we're gonna use little miniature paper clips and you can put this on your refrigerator or whatever and we're going to hang pictures on it. So I'll show you, you put this on here and you clip it on and you have your own little picture frame hanger. Of course, this is my baby and her baby. So aren't they adorable? So anyway, this is what we're gonna do today. You're gonna take any old picture frame that you have around the house. You can take any of them whatsoever. That one happens to be a plastic one. I have another one I'm gonna use white today. And it is going to be, the first thing you need to do is take it out and take the glass out of it. And you're gonna take the cardboard out of it. So you're just gonna have the frame around it whatsoever. If they have the little backings on them, you need to pull them out with a pair of pliers. Um, get rid of those because it's all gonna be nice and smooth, just the frame, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take, I'm gonna use twine and I've just got some colored twine here and I cut it the width of my um, photo frame. And I'm going to take it <clears throat> and I'm going to take, um, this time I can use a stapler. Um, that one on the plastic ones, you can use hot glue. The main thing is you need to do is make sure that you stretch your twine or your wire. You can use thin wire um, as tight as you can get it so that they have, it's nice and taut and straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and staple one side, just like this. So it's gonna be just stapled, it's just gonna be hanging there like this. So then you're gonna take it and you're gonna pull it as tight as you can across to make sure this is like a guitar string when you get done with it. And you're gonna staple it to the other side and you're just gonna do that as tight as you can across so that when you go ahead and put on your um, picture that it'll hang up okay. So when I cut all my strands and got those ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and start stapling these on. You can use any size of frame that you want. Um, you can use wire, which is might be easier on some people. Um, I just didn't have any wire, so I used the, um, the twine here. And you're just gonna pull it across and you're gonna staple it on both sides. And then you're gonna do that and you can space them as close or as far away as you want, that's up to you. And um, so once it's done, it looks like this. This looks like a guitar string all strung across there. And I'm gonna take another one and we're just gonna do that all the way up the frame to um, fill it all in. Of course. And you can put, um, some ladies use these on their dressers and they hang their, um, their earrings on them and you can turn them whichever way you wanna put them on there. Um, so then we, um, most of this stuff is that I got it at the Dollar Tree again. Which are by nice by now. That's my favorite place to go, and I make it inexpensive for you guys to do at home as much as we can. And um, if you have a wooden frame, you can staple or you use small um, little nails. But if you have a plastic frame, um, you can always use um, hot glue to do that too. And of course, I have hot glue ready to go today too, just in case. Um, staples don't seem to be holding it as tight as I want it to. And if you don't get it very tight, um, it's not going to work with your clothespins. Your clothespins, they're just gonna be too heavy for it. Um, and you don't wanna hang really heavy things on here, um, like pictures or anything like that, it'd be fine. Um, but, and then you can just use coordinating. I use blue and white on this one. On the other one, I use black and yellow. I mean, black and white because of the Somo colors. And um, you can put these on the refrigerators by putting magnets on the back on the corners of all four of your um, corners of your frame. 
And that way you can put it on there and you can hang more pictures, seems like on your refrigerator, if you um, put the magnets on here. Um, for some reason, I'm not doing very well stapling today. Even if I staple all one side, it seems like good if you staple one whole side and then staple the other side. That way you're not flipping the um, frame all the way around. But these are nice little gifts. You know, I know Christmas is coming up and you can do nice little gifts for your mom, your dad, or if you have a group of people that get together and play cards, like your bonco parties, or if you guys go to bingo every week, you know, you can give them to the bingo ladies that you play with. Um, just little things that doesn't cost you very much because you have a dollar in the frame, you have a few cents in string or wire. And if you buy one packet of um, clothespins, which you're gonna buy them, they're in like a big bag like this and there's several of them in there. And then they're little bitty ones like this, but you can also buy little bitterier ones if you want to, they're littler than these. Um, so whatever you feel comfortable in using. So you have like $3 in this whole little gift thing that you're um, that we're going to put together here and i'm just going to put some hot glue on here to hold them into the place settings here and i'm going to go across and i'm going to staple them and then like i said you need to pull it really tight make sure it's tight on there and so that you can hang on your um, picture so they don't sag when you do it um, if they're if they're too loose when you do it, just straight restretch them and put a little hot glue on there so that they can stay on where they get going on there. So I'm about halfway done with this one. And then you can always embellish your picture frames. Like if you're like dogs, you can put little dog um, paw prints on there. Um, you can put little um, stickers. You can put little pearls. You can do anything that you would like to um, enhance it on the front side. And I noticed that I've cut my uh, my string a little long. So here in a minute, I'm gonna trim those off for you so you guys can see what we're doing. So there it is. Oh, let me get the glue stuff off here. So it looks better. So, so, and you have this whole thing and you can just hang your pictures on it. You can take your little um, clothes pins and like I'm gonna use my daughter's picture again in the baby picture. They're so cute, you can't just pass them up. So just gonna put it on there. And I would use littler pictures. I just could not get this one to downsize for me today for some reason. And so you can just close pin it on there. If you use littler pictures, you can use several of them on there. But you have this nice little frame and you can also put um, a piece of cardboard on the back here. As you can tell, we have them stretch across here. If you want some more support, I would just take a piece of cardboard and glue it across the top of this to hold your string or your wire in but you can also put earrings on this, set it on your um, dresser. Like I said, you can embellish it, the little corners with little leaves or little flowers or whatever. Or we put little pearls along here um, on it, but it's very simple to make. You just need your twine, you need a stapler or a hot glue gun, and you need your little uh, frame and you need your little um, paper clips, but you can also use little um, clips too, the little, um, metal clips, so they may be a little harder and heavier than the paper, um, than the clothespins. But there we have it today. We have a nice little frame that you can stretch. It's very easy to make, you stretch them off and you can use it as a picture frame. You can set it on your dresser. You can magnetize it and put it on your refrigerator. Just be creative and put it together and put little pictures on it and use it as a gift for someone. There we have it for today. See you next time. Thank you, Mel. Everybody have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow at SOMO at Home.